Lord Pearson of Rannoch. So I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. My Lords, Part 3A of the Public Order Act 1986 relates to hatred against persons on religious or sexual orientation grounds. Section 29J provides that Part 3A should not be interpreted in a way that prohibits discussion or encouragement to cease practising of particular religion, religions or beliefs. There is no criminal offence in the UK of hate speech. My Lord, I thank the noble lady for that reply, but I fear we are on our way to losing our freedom of speech in this area. So, can I repeat a question I, I put a year ago, which the government refused to answer, namely whether a Christian who proclaims that Jesus is the only son of the one true God can be arrested for hate speech if a Muslim feels insulted and complains to the police. And by the same token, my lords, can a Muslim be arrested for preaching the supreme divinity of Allah if a Christian takes offence? And second, my lords, can the government assure your lordships that it is not going to follow a new judgment from the Strasbourg Court, which upholds Austria's criminalisation of a lady who said that Mohammed was a paedophile? Or, oh, my lords, are we to have a new blasphemy law which prohibits discussion of Islam? My lords, um, the noble lord asked me about uh, asked me a hypothetical question in a sort of unspecified uh, situation. Um, the, the CPS and the police agreed definition of hate crime is used for the purposes of identifying and flagging only. The definition is any criminal offence which is perceived to be motivated by hostility or prejudice based on a person's actual or perceived disability, race, religion, sexual orientation or transgender identity. When flagged as a hate crime, the police would be satisfied that an offence has been committed and will then investigate evidence in support of the appropriate charge as well as the aggravated element of hostility. And it wouldn't be appropriate for me, as, I, as I've just said, to confirm whether this is an example which would constitute a hate crime or not. That would be an operational decision uh, both for the police and the CPS based on the specific circumstances. And on the Austrian situation, the judgment doesn't raise any issues which require any further consideration by this government 